Good morning and welcome to BeefLink TV, your daily dose of industry information. Now it's Monday the 2nd of December and Director General Steve Parker is back to deliver his monthly column. Welcome back Steve. Good morning. So first things first, Christmas is coming. Uh, yeah, no, it is coming as you can tell by our tree and I hope our members will forgive me because what I've tried to do with this column is look a little bit back on what we've done in 2024 and then just a little slice of what we're doing in 2025. And of course, uh, for 2024, we've had some of our presents already. Mm -hmm. uh, some are good and some are not so good. If I think about some of those big ticket items that we've had to deal with as, as a, an industry, I think about the Red Sea, the war in Ukraine, they certainly have impacted us. And of course, we've had a new government, mm -hmm. which has brought us a new budget. All of that makes a difference to our members. And I can't forget that somewhere along the line, we've got a president elected in the US and that's going to impact us as we go through to 2025. So some of those big ticket things are, are ongoing. I think about BIFA uh, and, and what we've been up to. Our membership has increased during 2024, so we're pleased with that. Our engagement with our members has got better too. The number of people attending our regional meetings and our policy groups has gone up, mm -hmm. and that's encouraging, encouraging to see. Particularly our two new groups that we started in 2023, that's our Sustainable Logistics Policy Group and our Business Leaders Forum have gone from strength to strength. So that's really encouraging, uh, uh, encouraging us here at the association. And I can't, of course, leave 2024 without talking about Beefalink TV. Started in July and we've been using that uh, as a means to communicate with our members that supplements what we do with Beefalink, the emails and the website. So all in all for us at the Association, it's been a busy but a good year. Sure. So that's everything about 2024. What's in store for 2025? Uh, I've picked on two things for 2025, I think, just to keep us moving. One is that in May, we're going to hold our first conference in nearly 20 years. And that's really great. Uh, the initial sign up for that has been really excellent, actually. So I would encourage any member who's not signed up, who would like to attend, to get their name on our registration list, uh, which they can find through the website. Mm -hmm. And over the next few weeks, we'll be issuing a program with our speakers as we get them all finalized and in line, uh, that'll become clear of what we're going to do. But that looks to be a really exciting couple of it days. Does. It'd be great to get everybody together. <laughs> well, I can't think about 2025 without remembering our awards. Uh, that will be on the 16th of January at the brewery as normal. It is a sellout as it, as it often is. Uh, and what a great way to celebrate our industry. So whether you win or whether you don't, actually come and enjoy the day. For me, I love meeting our members and uh, it'd be great to meet any of you that are there. And then I'll catch up with any member that, that wants to see me. If you're in the bar and I am, mine's a Coke Zero. Thank you very much, Steve. Exciting times ahead for us. Yeah. December's edition of Beefleet Magazine is now available online. You'll find the link in the description of this video. That's all for today's edition of Beef Link TV, your daily dose of industry information.